the other day I saw something on social media about Disney World or whatever it is in Florida moving out. Mm-hmm. Like the, the tax something changed and they want to get out of there. Whatever your political affiliation is, there was builds happening around it. Homes being built because it was, you know, their their campus was going to be there. And now the campus is gone. So could those campuses come down? Maybe, but 80%? Yeah. I mean, unless, I don't know if you're familiar with them, but unless like all of the Sharknado movies came to real life and happened in Florida, there's yeah, so I, a, a I Chernobyl-like think event, maybe? That's exactly right. It would have to be some kind of cladicus bad thing that happened that made it unlivable for a long time. Um, but, you know, there are, I do think there are problems in Florida. It's not like I'm a, I'm not a bull on Florida. In fact, I think of all the States, Florida is in some trouble, right? They've been running so hot for so long. You've eventually got to pay the piper. So it's not like I'm a Florida bull. In fact, I think Florida has some pain in front of it. And I think I can say that with some confidence. Why? Because insurance rates are skyrocketing. We're I'm hearing from people who have roofs that are 15 years old and insurance companies are like, replace the roof or we're not insuring you. Be owning a home in Florida, especially on the water or the shore or whatever you call it there, it's getting ridiculously expensive, which is going to cause people to stop buying. It's going to cause some people to become forced sellers. That will be a 10, 15% adjustment, but that's not going to be 80. There's plenty of money in the country that wants to live in Florida. It's not going to be an 80% fall, even with that. So I, I think you nailed it when you said, you know, look at the title and the thumbnail. Those are those are very well done. And I, I don't want to go too much into detail, but if, if, if people literally just use the words that we talked about, they'll be able to find the channel. You can look at the channel and he was getting somewhere between 200 and maybe 2000 views per video. And then he talks about the housing market crashing in Florida and you get 55,000 views on a video. Yeah. If you want to help out. yourself, you tell people what they want to hear. If you want to help people, you tell them the truth. This is a person who's choosing to tell people what they want to hear. They want to hear that a crash is coming, that a crash has been coming every two days for a decade. Here's the new reason why. It's okay for you not to take action. It's okay for you to wait. All the while, the investors are making hundreds of thousands of dollars in appreciation, hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash flow. And the investors are hoping for a crash just as much as the people who haven't taken action. 